Hi everybody, Patrick here from www.engineeringshock.com and www.electroniclessons.com. Another one of our quick videos. This is our very simple uh, 7805 5 volt regulator kit. Yes, you can use AC or DC at the input, up to 30 volts AC or 30 volts DC. Uh, the output is rectified and, and uh, regulated to 5 volts. Neat thing is, is up here is our, our AC inputs. They're labeled AC and AC. Now I say AC and AC because we've got a bridge rectifier, so uh, it doesn't matter if you, you know, either one can use either neutral or hot. However, if you want to put DC at the input, as long as you don't care about the few volts that will be dropped across the diodes, uh, you can actually put DC at the input, uh, and it doesn't matter which lead ground uh, on the left or the right. You know, you can switch these up because the bridge rectifier circuit, I can't get into the theory right now, so tiny bit complicated, but if you know about bridge rectifier circuits, you'll know that you can feed DC through them uh, and have DC positive on either line. Anyway, in this case, I've got uh, 10 volts uh, positive DC on uh, my furthest terminal, uh, ground DC, uh, DC ground on my second terminal, uh, third terminal, I'm measuring 4.91 volts, which is the 5 volt regulator. And on my last one, I've got uh, my DC ground. So, input DC or AC, output positive, output negative. So, it regulates to 5 volts. It comes with a 5 volt regulator. If you have a 7809 or a 7812, which is a 12 volt regulator, you can substitute. And if you want to completely bypass these uh, diodes, you don't need to include them in the kit. You can literally bypass them on the board and uh, not have to worry about too, mu too much of a voltage drop. Now the 7805 requires 7 volts at least to regulate to 5 volts. So if you've got 9 volts at DC at your input, you're not worrying about AC, you've got 9 volts DC at your input, you get a 2 volt drop, you'll have 7 volts at the uh, input of the 7805 and you'll have a 5 volt regulated output. Anyway, very simple kit. Four diodes, one very large heat sink, 7805, two capacitors, two terminal blocks, and a PCB. Anyway, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thanks for watching, guys.